Hello everyone, um, welcome to my channel, Dirty Hands Clean Living. My name is Star, and I'm going to be talking about why I'm growing my own food this year and why I think you should too. So the first reason is the cost. It's going to be much cheaper growing your own organic food at home rather than going and buying a bunch of organic produce. For example, like you can get packets of seeds, which may have like 30 to 50 seeds, um, just depending on the type of seed, uh, for about anywhere from 99 cents to 250. So, and you can get, you know, anywhere from 30 to 50 individual plants from that. And from each plant, for lettuce at least, you can get multiple harvests. So again, literally pennies for fresh, delicious, amazing vegetables. Basically free, or you can grow your own for pennies of what it would cost compared to buying it at the grocery store. And obviously, you know, you can make gardening very expensive, but my whole goal with this channel is I'm showing you how I'm growing my own food this year and I'm doing it in the cheapest way possible since this is my first time growing it. And I can even go into in future videos ways that you can save your seeds, save some money also, because you can eventually get your gardening down to almost free, which is amazing because that's just tons of abundant free food for you and your family. The next reason I'm growing my own food is for the quality. Um, you can control the quality of the produce that you're getting if you grow it at home compared to if you're buying it at a grocery store. Even with like organic produce, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, recalls on romaine lettuce all the time, for example. And that's because those farmers maybe, I've, they could technically be organic, but maybe they use manure that hasn't been composted properly. And so that is kind of what causes some of those E. coli outbreaks and also using water from not safe sources as well. Also your produce is going to be fresher than if you went and bought it at a store because obviously all of that produce has to be uh, transported which may take a few days and you know things can wilt and just kind of lose their crispness and uh, freshness along the way. So. It's never going to be as good as, you know, you going out in your backyard and picking it fresh that day for a meal. The next reason is um, for the different unique varieties. There are so many different varieties of, for example, tomatoes that you can grow. There are, I think, anywhere from like 50 to 100, maybe more varieties of tomatoes, all that have different colors, flavors, um, textures, that ones that grow better or worse in certain climates. So there's really so many different cool and more delicious uh, fruits and veggies that you can grow that would be way better and more unique and more delicious than anything you could ever find at a grocery store. As uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge always says, store-bought veggies taste like disappointment. The next reason I'm growing my own food this year is just for health. For all the reasons I mentioned, like the, the quality and like the unique varieties you can get, you can grow way more nutritious organic vegetables at home than you, for way cheaper than you ever could, like buying it at a grocery store. And so by growing my own food and knowing that it's safe and it's gonna be nutritious and delicious and even like even more tasty than at a grocery store, I know that that will also probably encourage me to eat more of my vegetables as well. The last and honestly the biggest reason why I'm starting my first vegetable garden this year and why you should too is because gardening is good for the soul. It feels, it's relaxing. There's something about putting your hands in the dirt and creating something and watching like a big plant, a vegetable that you can eat grow from a tiny seed that is just magical. It's like meditation. You focus on one task and it just lets your mind just focus on that one task and kind of everything else melts away. And you get a, that little bit of physical aspect of it. So you get a little bit of exercise and you know, sunshine always helps too. So I hope you guys will start your first garden this year with me. Uh, please keep me updated on your progress and I will be posting some more videos uh, to kind of help you get started as well. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content and thank you again so much for watching. Bye.